Let's just go to a tweet where Serena Williams had a lot to say about him or just paying tribute to Federer saying, I wanted to find the perfect way to say this as so eloquently to put this game to rest. Perfectly done, just like your career. I have always looked up to you and admired you. Our paths were always so similar, so much the same. You inspired countless millions and millions of people, including me, and we will never forget. I applaud you and look forward to all that you do in the future. Welcome to the Retirement Club and thank you for being you. And joining us right now just to speak a bit more about Federer's illustrious career is a tennis expert and a former player himself, John de Jager. John, thank you very much for joining me uh, this afternoon. I can't help but think what a time in tennis. It feels like an end of era. I mean, I was just reading that uh, tweet from Serena Williams. She said she's retiring first and now Roger Federer. Yeah, it's a sad day for tennis, uh, especially for tennis fans around the world. It was a little bit of a shock um, announcement of Roger because we all thought that he will play another year or two years. But uh, what a great uh, uh, sportsman! I mean, I always say, you know, he was he was a great he was a champion off the court before he became a champion on the court, and I think that's the most important thing, and that's what people were remembering him for. Mm-hmm. He was a great champion. Uh, he always had time for you know for for his foundation and helping kids and. In the remarkable matches that he's played uh, through his career, and if you just look at all the tributes that's coming in from all the some of the greatest players in the world, yeah. um, it just tells you how great of a player he was. I mean, it's quite unfortunate that he's leaving the game due to injury. Obviously, it's always different when someone says, listen, I'm hanging up my racket or my boots or whatever because I just feel like it's time. But right now, he himself is admitting that, listen, I just feel like injury is kind of like uh, becoming a problem for me and I need to be honest with myself. Is it, is it a common thing or is it starting to be a common thing in the world of tennis where now players... Uh, feel the need to uh, perhaps quit professional tennis due to injury? Well, if you just look at the history, I mean, uh, uh, these days the guys play a lot longer, so they play a lot more matches. I mean, Roger said just 40. Um, now at 32, he's got six years. Um, Rafa, Novak, they've got they're five, six years left in them. Yeah. And I think that's the reason. I mean, and Roger has been very fortunate through his career. He didn't have a lot of injuries. Obviously, the last few years, uh, he had a lot more injuries. Uh, you know, when he, when he started hitting 37, the injuries started piling up on him. And that's yeah. unfortunate. But he's been through his career. He's been very fortunate not having um, injuries. And that's just the way he played. I mean, he was so smooth. He glided... Um, around the court, he was an awesome all-round court. He played from the baseline. He could come to the net. I think from, from a tennis um, fan's perspective, yeah. it was so beautiful to watch him play because he had all the shots in the book. Um, if you had to put somebody down and say, let's take the, the, the greatest forehand, backhand, serve, mm. volleys, you know, Roger Federer will definitely have a few of those shots will be in the complete player. Yeah. Absolutely. Just before I let you go, the kind of legacy that he's leaving behind. I mean, you mentioned his foundation earlier on. Yeah, you know, um, it's amazing. This year he didn't play a lot of tennis or haven't played. He made still is the tennis player that made the most money, $90 million. So he'll uh, he'll still be making a lot of money. I think what is going to happen now, he said he's not done with tennis. He's just done with ATP events and Grand Slams. I wouldn't be surprised if next year he goes on a world tour, play exhibitions in all his favorite cities to say thank you to the millions of fans that, surpri- that, that supported him. And, you know, uh, in... In 2000, uh, you know, in 2020, we had the match in Africa yeah. where he played with Rafa. And yeah, hopefully now that he's retired, maybe there's an opportunity for us to get him back in South Africa to play. I mean, with him and the likes of Serena Williams uh, retiring, do you see the scene in terms of the tennis world kind of changing and shifting um, compared to the times when we had them um, playing professionally? It's definitely going to change. Uh, you know, we only have uh, Novak and, and Rafa left. We don't know how much longer Rafa is going to play because he himself, you know, he's, uh, he's got a, he has a lot of injuries. Hopefully he can, he can survive a few more years. I mean, Novak's going to be there, I think, for, you know, he's so fit and healthy. Yeah. He's definitely going to be there for, you know, four or five years. But the new generation is exciting. I mean, Alcaraz, Sinner, um, you know, these guys are playing amazing tennis, rude. Um, so we're going to be, in the next 10 years, we're going to definitely going to be entertained. I think it's going to be a great challenge to see how Alcaraz and Sinan and those guys compete with Nadal and especially Novak because yeah. we haven't really seen Novak in Grand Slams this year. He wasn't able to play two of the slams and he's the guy that's going to be chased. I mean, I know, I mean, I see a lot of guys say he's the greatest tennis player ever. 
Uh, there's a lot of people that will disagree with it because the facts doesn't say that he's the greatest player, but he's definitely the most popular tennis player in the world. Everybody. I had a friend talk to a friend today. He said there's guys that like Novak and hate Novak. Yeah. People that like Rafa and, and, and hate Rafa. But everybody loves uh, Roger Federer. That's so uh, he was a great icon. He, like I said, you know, he was a champion person off the field. And, you know, he was a champion on, on the court. And we're dearly going to miss him. Absolutely. We're definitely going to miss him. John, thank you very much for your time. It is uh, John Yahor over there just uh, talking about uh, the legacy that uh, Roger Federer is going to uh, leave behind. And just the sad news of unfortunately losing him due to uh, injury.